As a tumor grows beyond one to two millimeters, its need for oxygen and other nutrients begins to exceed the local blood supply. Start for nourishment, the tumor turns on the angiogenic switch. This change marks a critical moment in tumor development as it provides the tumor with the blood supply needed not only to survive, but to thrive. Under these highly volatile conditions, the growing vasculature fuels tumor growth and opens up new routes for tumor metastasis. The key mediator of this process of angiogenesis is vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF. When VEGF binds to receptors on the surface of endothelial cells, it has been shown to exert important effects. These multiple roles of VEGF, promoting tumor vessel survival, increasing tumor vessel permeability, and stimulating new tumor vessel growth, are important throughout tumor development and make VEGF an attractive therapeutic target. First and foremost, VEGF is a potent stimulator of new tumor vessel growth, capable of inducing new vascular sprouting within one day. These new vessels continually provide increased access to oxygen and other vital nutrients that fuel tumor growth. Due largely to VEGF, tumor vasculature is also highly abnormal. Tumor vessels are marked by many endothelial fenestrations and open gaps between endothelial cells. These abnormalities promote the leakage of plasma proteins, resulting in high pressure within the tumor that may restrict anti-cancer drug delivery. Many therapeutic strategies for targeting the VEGF pathway are currently under investigation. Primary among them is Avastin, a humanized monoclonal antibody to VEGF. By directly inhibiting VEGF, Avastin may have multiple effects on tumor vasculature including regression of existing vessels, normalization of surviving vessels, and inhibition of new and recurrent vessel growth. It has been proposed that these effects begin early and continue throughout treatment. One of the most rapid of these effects is vascular regression. Cut off from VEGF, many of the smaller, less efficient vessels are quickly pruned away. This effect is thought to contribute to the consistent and significant increases in tumor response observed with Avastin across many treatment regimens. Preclinical models suggest that this vascular regression is preceded by loss of blood flow and lumen patency. As a result, some tumor vessels may exist for a short time with no blood flow before finally regressing. In the wake of this regression, vascular tracts, called basement membrane ghost, leave a fossil-like record of where regressed tumor vessels once stood. Early in treatment, as some tumor vessels are regressed, many of the vessels that survive are also affected by Avastin. Endothelial fenestrations and intercellular gaps, abnormalities that contribute to vessel permeability, become closed off. By decreasing the pressure within the tumor vasculature, this normalizing effect may improve the delivery of chemotherapy within the tumor. Because of this, Avastin can be combined with chemotherapy to maximize clinical outcomes. Later in treatment, Avastin may also continue to inhibit vascular sprouting, new vasculature that is critical for continued tumor development. This inhibition of vascular sprouting is perhaps best observed by comparing the effects of anti-VEGF therapy versus no treatment. In the absence of anti-VEGF therapy, tumor vascularity rises unchecked. With anti-VEGF therapy, however, tumor vascular sprouting is continuously suppressed. This inhibitory effect is important for both new and recurrent tumor vessel growth. In fact, Withdrawal of anti-VEGF therapy has been shown to result in rapid regrowth of tumor vasculature, especially along the tracks left by previously regressed vessels. This ongoing ability to inhibit new and recurrent vessel growth is thought to maintain tumor control. Clinically, 
these effects may contribute to the benefits of Avastin observed over time, including longer survival and delay of disease progression. A growing body of research continues to shed light on the multiple effects of Avastin on tumor vasculature, regression of existing vessels, normalization of surviving vessels, and inhibition of new and recurrent vessel growth. Today, Avastin is already an essential component of cancer treatment, with consistent survival increases demonstrated in multiple solid tumors.